Come back in the shop. I've got this uh, 2004 Honda Accord with the 3 liter V6 and they were hearing a tapping noise in the engine. They didn't know if it was maybe lower end uh, in the valve train, something like that. Get it in and it's running rough. So I'm like, well, I'll check codes. I'll see if there's anything there. So it has misfires actually on all the cylinders, which is kind of weird. But then it also has, uh, I pulled up data and it was showing number three was misfiring all the time. So it was, it was not contributing. Okay, well, I'll check the spark plug because it's you know the easiest place to start. Check the coil and the spark plug. So I have to pry the coil out. You can see it's all melted here. If you look at that spark plug, the strap is gone and it looks like a torch was taken to the spark plug. So to pull the spark plug out too, I had to, uh, all I had to do was uh, put a hose on it and it pulled right out. So it wasn't actually being held in there by anything other than the coil. And so the threads are most likely damaged on the head also. So it needs a cylinder head or an engine. Maybe it burnt the piston. Uh, we can try doing an insert and the customer, I, you know, I, told him this is strictly a gamble. I could get the insert put in and then possibly I get it started up and we're still losing compression on it due to the fact that either the cylinder wall is damaged, the piston is damaged, something. If it works for him, great, but I, you know, I, I can stand behind the insert if I did something wrong there. But then again, also, if the spark plug hole is damaged enough that the insert doesn't really grab very well I can't you know it, it might last them uh, a day it might last them for several several years never have an issue but you know it's just one of those things that's kind of a gamble but it's a heck of a lot cheaper than putting a cylinder head on it or replacing the engine so he he's all for that and I mean truthfully if it was mine I'd probably do the same thing um, so right now I'm going to get that hole cleaned up I'm going to uh, try to put a insert in the spark plug hole and I will film what I can it's on number three which is on the back side of the engine there and it's gonna be difficult if it was one of the front ones it'd be super easy for me to film for you guys but I will try to get what I can and uh, show you the process use this Lyle kit and see if that does the job I really wanted an insert that had the uh, shoulder on it that way it would seal here. This one doesn't have it. They probably offer it, but I'm going to use it in this kit. Um, I'm going to hopefully go down the face. The sealing surface for the seal or for this uh, washer looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it burnt that, and you can tell from the spark plug, it doesn't look like it really got that far. Let me get out of the picture so it focuses. You can see there's still threads up there. So I hope that that's in good shape. Um, I'll go, whenever I put the insert in, I'll put the insert just a hair lower and then set it. Um, so anyway, let's get started. I do a lot of voiceovers because while I'm working, it's hard to stop and explain and uh, talk to the camera sometimes. I just want to focus, especially on something like this. I don't want to miss a step or I don't want to cause any issues. But so anyway, really to start with, you want to make sure the engine's turned over to where uh, the intake and exhaust valves are closed. Try to minimize any shavings going into the uh, into the ports or into the valves. Also, you want to put some grease on that tap. And if you watch here, you can kind of see my left hand is pushing pretty hard on the ratchet while my right hand's tightening it up. And you'll see now I loosen it up. That way, I can then take the tap out and clean any of the shavings off of it. And you'll see here in a second all the shavings that are on it there. And where the shavings are, kind of right there just past the, the tip of it, is the cutting surface to where it starts cutting into it and then starts tapping the threads.
as you can see this is quite a bit of a process here uh, you'll see me go back and forth cutting threads but you can see now we've made it a little bit past the cutting surface and there's still quite a bit of uh, aluminum shavings on there so again you only want to make a few passes on it and then take the tap out clean it up put some more grease on it and then put it back in and you can see here I'm checking with the boroscope and you'll see here in a second I'll show you what I'm starting to see and right there you can see where it's starting to cut and tap and that very lower shiny ring there is where the cutting surface is cutting the old threads out of the cylinder head so little by little I'm going to keep cutting tap in the hole pull it out clean it and then I'll check with the borescope I'll keep updating you guys you can see here I've made it all the way through with the tap right now I'm just checking with the borescope to make sure I've gone all the way through because that's what the directions say to do and I'm gonna get a better picture of it here in a second and now that I've made it all the way through I'm gonna start the engine let it blow out all the uh, debris <laughs> After running the engine, without anything in that hole obviously, letting it blow any of the, the uh, shavings that maybe have gotten down in the cylinder, blow it out. Now I'm just double checking to make sure everything looks good. Uh, I spent some time cleaning the surface there. You can see that little ledge right there, that's where the washer is going to seal at. And I'm just making sure everything looks good before I go ahead and put the insert in. Okay, the directions say to use some high strength Loctite. Uh, that's rated for high temp and if I remember correctly this is rated in the 450-500 range I went in and put a couple drops on I'm going to put the insert in and I can't remember what the Loctite directions say how long to let it set but I went ahead and let it set overnight and then I will restart in the morning and continue assembling it Now that I have the insert in, I'm going to use the borescope to go down. You'll see the sealing surface just about right there, I believe it is, is where the washer for the spark plug seals. Um, and then you can see the insert and the lip. You can see the lip of the cylinder head there. That's really what I was going down to make sure. I didn't want that insert sitting down in the combustion area and take a chance of it getting close to the piston uh, or pushing the spark plug further in. So everything's looking great, and uh, you definitely need a borescope to do this job. It makes it so much easier, especially on the vehicle. You need to be able to look down in the hole to get an idea of what's going on.
As you guys can hear, the engine sounds great. Everything went smooth. I'm really excited for this. Uh, now what I'm going to go do is take it out for a drive, and then I let it sit overnight and drove it again the next day. That way we can get a heat cycle. That way we can see if anything changed. But thankfully, everything went smooth. Uh, this vehicle is going to go back to the customer. I'm uh, really excited, and hopefully this helps you guys out. Hopefully, uh, if this happens to you, it doesn't cause too much damage to the head. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy it, please like and comment. And if you enjoy everything, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember correctly, it won't need to check resistance. On my meter, I'm showing an excessive amount of resistance. And I'm on the 200 ohm scale. I'm still I'm on the 2000 20 pins on the new one. If I remember correctly, it was supposed to be half ohm to two and a half ohms. I'm 2.1, so I'm within spec. So that old one's definitely bad. And